Hi angels, welcome back to the channel or welcome to the channel if you are new. My name is Marian Sims and today I am bringing you 11 of my favorite gameplay mods. <laughs> So first up is Ice Mun Mun's Air Fryer. So this air fryer here comes in many different colors. I really, really like this blue swatch, but there's also this darker blue swatch, this swatch, a this swatch, this swatch, this really pretty kind of turquoise-ish swatch, a green swatch, um, a yellow swatch, and um, this kind of pinkish swatch. So to match the furniture, we don't have any kind of neutral swatches or like black swatches, but that's absolutely okay. I'm just gonna bring it back to the original color it was. So Daime here is going to cook something with the air fryer. So with the air fryer you can make single um, meals or you can make like a family serving and since you can see down here he has a bunch of family so I'm gonna let him fry something that is a family serving. Um, so once you download the air fryer these automatically come with the air fryer. You don't have to download these separately like some other food mods and that's one of my favorite thing about this mod. You just pop it in and all of these beautiful kind of recipes come with it. Um, so I'm going to have there may make some, mm, some fried calamari. So we're just going to watch him as he is working with the air fryer here. And see, so it was really quick. All he had to do was kind of push it out and then push it in. Um, and I'm guessing it doesn't take too, too long to cook. As you can see, he was kind of waiting by it. His hands are kind of balled up. Um, oh, and it made a little sound. So now he's taking it out and boom, he just goes straight to eating. Alrighty, so next up we have the infamous Granny's Old Cookbook. So unlike the first mod, with the Granny's Cookbook, you have to download separate recipes in order for them to show up because there's so, so many different categories for this particular mod in terms of food, and we're going to get into those when we get back into uh, live mode. But I just want to show you the swatches. Um, I absolutely love Granny's Cookbook cookbook it is so beautiful to me and this is literally my number one favorite food mod because it's been out for a while um, and the creator has so 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 many beautiful um, kind of cultural foods and just general foods that I kind of love making for my different sims. So to match the kitchen here I'm just going to go with this kind of green cookbook. Um, so if you hover over Granny's cookbook there's not a description but it just says Granny's Old Cookbook. So after you click on it you have the option to name the cookbook. So if you have like a legacy that you're playing and you have a grandparent that you want to name the um, book afterward, after, you can absolutely do that. So I'm just going to press OK here. Um, you can put it in your inventory. So if you ever want to go to like another Sims house, if you're having maybe like a cookout or something, you can also do that. And um, once you do that, you'll be able to make whatever recipes you have downloaded in another Sims home. So there's two different general categories. There's snacks and there's granny recipes. So first you're gonna click on snacks um, and there is cold drinks, snacks, and then my sim has the option to grab food for Toto, which, who is his son. Um, his son is a toddler, so there are toddler foods that you can download with this mod, um, but cold drinks, these are just the ones that I have downloaded. Again, you have to download them separately. Um, so I'm going to have Daime come over here and make an ice caramel coffee so y'all can kind of see what that looks like. I need him to put down his calamari from our last mod. And look, so all he really did was just get it out the fridge. Um, it wasn't something too, too hard to do and he didn't have to whip anything up. So, yep, there is that 
for the iced coffee. Um, I'm gonna go back here and let you see the rest of it. Um, so that's for cold drinks. There are some other snacks that he could get. So he could get strawberries, um, chocolate egg ice cream, and fruit and chocolate pots. I'm gonna let him get the fruit and chocolate pot for a second. Put your iced coffee down. Okay. <laughs> so he is getting his little fruit coffee pot and it looks like everybody is coming to get some calamari here. So for the fruit pot, it looks like he actually has to make it. So unlike the kind of cold drink snack, with this particular snack, he's putting it together. So as you can see, he's chopping up chocolate and he was just chopping up some strawberries. Um, and now he is... Oh, cooking it. Okay. So I guess he's making like a little caramel sauce or something for it. I am not too sure, but this is cool. Oh, look. <laughs> okay, so hopefully he's done soon. And he is. Of course, he would put it by the air fryer so we can't see it. Okay, I'm going to move it. And this is the fruits and chocolate pot um the creator put so much detail into this mod and i am very very thankful for that so as you can see there's kind of like a caramel or chocolate dipping sauce here these are the chopped up apples and then these are the chopped up strawberries um so that is that we're actually not gonna let um him eat any right now but i do want to show you the rest of the granny's cookbooks so we're done with snacks and now we're going into the other recipes so barbecue these are the things that are going to be made outside on the grill they're the ones that i have downloaded are shrimp and mackerel skewers um barbecue ribs and baked beans um barbecue chicken and barbecue smoked brisket um and these are just the ones that he can cook with cooking level one so there are a lot lot more that a sim can cook depending on the cooking level um and let's see so for breakfast these are the ones he can cook with level one and then we also have desserts so these are the ones he can cook with level one and then lastly these are general meals that he can cook um so he has grilled tomato and cheese soap fettuccine alfredo and ajacal soup I think I pronounced that right. I am not sure. Um, but yeah, so this is Granny's cookbook. I will let um, Dear May make one more just for the interest of time. Let's let him make some fettuccine alfredo and we'll do a single serving and see if that makes it faster. Okay, so he is again getting the ingredients out the fridge and boom, instead of chopping anything up, he just comes straight to the eye and is prying it off the frying pan i pray he does not burn this but we shall see this is his wife <laughs> um she just came to say hello um stop talking to him please so he could finish displaying this fettuccine alfredo stop oh my god <laughs> okay so he's putting a little pepper Come on, okay, I'm going to get him to stop talking to her because I feel like it is slowing down our process. And he is just, he is struggling with this food. Oh my gosh, y'all. Okay, so this is the fettuccine alfredo. And again, the uh, air fryer is in the way, so I'm just going to slightly move it to the side. Yep, and this is what the alfredo looks like. So it has broccoli, you can kind of see the cheese sauce and stuff on it, and it just comes in like a regular regular plate. So moving away from kitchen appliances, we are getting into some practical um, appliances and other things that can be used to make your Sims life more mundane. <laughs> so it comes in, again, some different swatches, and unlike some of the kitchen appliances, these actually come in some um, kind of neutral swatches, so you're able to kind 
kind of change things up. This is the Medieval Broom. Um, and again, it comes in mostly neutral swatches. And then lastly, we have the Modern Wooden Broom. So no longer do you have to use mops as the only tool for messes big and small. And this one comes in some different kind of fun colors. I'm going to make this one. Um, and if you still want to see your sim kind of like clean up and stuff they can do that um no dust kind of accumulates on the ground but i like it because it's just another chore that my sim can do it takes up time and i really 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 like this mod um, and depending on kind of how the routing of your house goes your sim may stay in one place or they may kind of move around and yep that is that and look he's just like standing on the broom look so so cute oh love it <laughs> we are still on the topic of household chores i wanted to show you this ironing board so this ironing board is also another um chore that your sim can do around the house um and if you do have laundry day i believe this pack does actually require laundry day um your sims can wash clothes and then after they wash clothes they can iron them and that is what this ironing board is for so it comes in again some of those neutral swatches um and most of them are neutral actually um so they'll blend into basically any wall that you have i'm actually going to make it white to kind of fit in with this wall okay so i'm gonna have him iron worn clothes so as you see he hasn't washed his clothes in a while um and so that's why it says worn and not clean but again your sims do have the option to kind of um change some stuff up depending on if they have washed or not and that is just interaction for ironing it is a very interesting mod and i like it because it just adds again another sense of realism i wanted to move away from household appliances and get into some kid mods as y'all know i am a family player and i love 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 mods that kind of enrich my kid and my toddler experience because let's be honest the sims 4 does not have a lot for either age range so this is the Voy critter tablet so if you remember the kids like stuff pack that first came out for the sims um the kids had a Voy Critter kind of system that came to be and this is the Voy Critter battle station this is the only way your kids were able to play with Voy Critters I for one do not like using this it is way too big and it takes up way too much room especially in kind of homes like this right where there's not a lot of room to be had and long behold the Voy Critter gaming tablet. So be gone with this big bulky bowl critter, Voy Critter <laughs> battle station. Now we have a tablet where your sim can do the exact same thing. So it comes in some really, really cool colors. Um, I like these colors because depending on what your sim's favorite color is, it should be in some way um, represented in these colors. So click on the tablet. You have the option to play Void Critter Go, and this just levels up your general Void Critter skill. So right here, um, it says play Void Critter Go. But in order to do so, you need to have a Void Critter Trainer. So I'm going to have um, my sim here look for void critter so they can start researching their game strategy they can train the void critter or they can battle void critters but since they don't have any they can use the online shop to buy some so the um, online shop also has other things you can buy swag and these are all the kind of swag things that you can buy so if your sim like love love loves the void critters you can make their whole room like void critter kind of inspired and i think that's so cool um so they have kind of some of the characters here as like little plushies um there is like these little action figures there's even some party decorations so if if you wanted to take this mod a step ahead and create like a whole birthday party around a void critter theme that can also be done so your sim also has the option to buy stickers so these are all the stickers that you can buy um, that have void critter attached to them or are void critter characters and they can go on the walls of your sims home 
Um, and then next we have limited edition foil cards. Cards or you can purchase a whole Void Critter booster pack. So I'm going to get um, her to purchase the Wisp. <laughs> it is located in her inventory so we're gonna go to her inventory and make sure it is in there and it is so the wisp it tells you the element the power level and the playful decor so she can read the card if she wants to and a little pop-up should come up um so i'm gonna have her just train her void critter so y'all can kind of see what that is like up I wanted to kind of get outside and let my sims play so we have the hopscotch game um so this game again is just the traditional hopscotch and your sim can play hopscotch by themselves they can play hopscotch with other people or um they can just look at the beautiful hopscotch court so right now I have my sim here just gently playing hopscotch and I I love this animation it really shows that they are um, listening to the rules or they know the rules and it, it just seems so so fun it's just another thing for your sims to overall do and I just I absolutely love this mom we have this beautiful toddler trampoline as I said before the toddlers don't have a lot to do in game so I'm always looking for new things for them to do and this is one of them so this beautiful trampoline is just something your toddlers can kind of go into I love the animation and I think it's so 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 smooth and they're just having a blast um, I also think this particular mod is really good if you just are a picture taker and you like having pictures taken with your sims um, and I do like the attention to detail so there is a net here so your toddlers don't fall out and they are absolutely okay <laughs> the dad over here is just watching like don't fall you're fine <laughs> next uh. up is this post office so I don't know about you but when I was a kid I absolutely loved playing pretend and just making up scenarios in my head <laughs> and so this one a mod is just right up my alley and I think imagination is something beautiful that kind of all kids get to love and grow in and voila we have this post office mod um, and it is a mod only only for kids so your kid can wear the dino costume they can wear buzz wings or they can remove their costume they can buy creative boxes and kind of play with in them um, so each of these boxes that they do make and create they can play inside of it um, or with it they can write letters to Santa so if you have seasons and Christmas is kind of coming up in your game I think this is a lovely addition um, they can kind of just write in general I believe this increases their creativity skill um, they can swipe a card or they can check on mail so first off I am going to get Miss Anola to come over here and check mail so as you can see it's a little screen here and she is just, yeah, checking the mail to kind of see what is going on currently. Um, and she doesn't get a general moodlet for it. Um, but again, I think it's just nice for your sims to be able to do. So I'm going to come get her to write a letter to Santa and kind of see what that looks like. So she's thinking about what she's going to write to Santa, and now she is writing. Um, I don't know if I have everything downloaded for this mod. So as you can see, she was writing, but there was no pencil or paper on the post office. Um, but that's okay. Like, 
sometimes, again, it is about using your imagination. Next, I'm going to have her wear the dino costume and see what that looks like. So she put on the dino costume, um, and it was a quick little interaction, kind of similar to changing your outfit in the dresser. So she does have these little dino slippers on, and of course, she has this dino head. Um, and I do like this mod, again, because it shows up in the little panel down here. <laughs> I think it's so, so, so funny. So I'm going to get her to remove the costume, and we're going to try on the buzz wings. Okay, so I'm not too sure what happened with the buzz wings. Maybe um, it's just not working right now, but I do know the buzz wings are also in build mode. So that may be something that you have to put on your sim manually. But all in all, 10 of 10, and absolutely love this game play mod. And I think it's just another way for your sim kids to have fun. I have some toddler mods from Panda Sama. So I have shown some of these in my game before. I think I've showed this racetrack, but I wanted to show you again. So so first off, we have this kind of little tiny, tiny toddler hoop, and your sim toddlers can play basketball with it. So I believe this increases their movement skill, um, and it's just so cute and fun to watch. Your sims are just having a great little old time with this toddler hoop. Absolutely 10 out of 10. Just love it. And as you can see, they are bouncing the ball. I think this animation is so, so, so smooth, and it is literally one of my favorites. Oh, mwah, chef kiss. Last but not least, we have this little train track. So your toddler puts the train, I'm not puts the train, puts the car at the top of the racetrack and they watch it go down each and every time. And they also get to kind of play with the car. These do come in different swatches. I just didn't have enough time to show you the swatches. So I will leave that up to you all. But depending on what swatch you use, the car color and type does change. So I think that's super, super fun as well. Alrighty, Angel. So that is going to be end of these game play mods. I hope you enjoyed them. All the links are going to be down in the description. Um, all these mods are available for free right now so go and download them let me know if you do don't forget to like comment and subscribe come join the angel squad i would love to have you and i will see you in my next video Mwah. bye angels